Hey guys, me and Alex are back and this week we are trying snacks and candy from Russia. Yeah, we spent the last few weeks trying stuff from America, so we're excited this week because we've yeah. been sent a box from candyboxrussia.com and we've never tried anything from Russia, never. never been to Russia, so this should be quite exciting. It looks interesting, doesn't it? We'll yeah. leave the link to where you can get this box in the description box down below in case any of you would also like to try some Russian snacks and candy. I think it's because we've been so spoiled by our subscribers, but there's a good amount of stuff in here, but it doesn't it does look, look like small, loads of things, it? does it? <laughs> but maybe that's just because our subscribers have been sending us so much stuff. But it looks interesting and exciting, and yeah. there's a QR code. And so I love this classic like Russian yes. doll within it's like a, a doll. Russian doll, wasn't it? Thing. Oh yes, I didn't get that. Yeah, look, like these little things. Yeah. That's Although like that's quite creepy. That's isn't so it? like not creepy in Russian. I don't mean that. I mean that looks so creepy, but at the same time, it's got that very Russian like it's, stylistic it's very, thing to it. What's the word? Authentic. Anyway, there is a QR code which I'm going to scan. I'm guessing this is going to tell me what's in the box because I don't actually um, read Russia. Read Russian. Russian. You know, yeah, I get Mother that Russia. The okay. motherland. Oh, that's scanned straight away. So here it is. It tells us a little bit about each thing. Do you want to start with savory again? Yes, please. I'm excited because these are Lay's. Lay's. Now. And this is cool because we know now Lay's and Walker's are the same make. Yeah. And also there's some others around the world as well. Like in South Africa, they're called something else. Yeah. Um, um, but a lot of the time they're called Lay's. Cause... But what's interesting is even though Lay's slash Walker's slash whatever are all over the world, they always have different always. flavors. And even like over here, we have cheese and onion, but in America, it's quite often the sour cream and chive. Yeah, or, or like ranch or different yeah. things like that. So we don't know what flavor these are. Can Does you it guess say that? I'm guessing it's mushroom. Yeah. Mushroom and crisp Crispy mushroom. Crispy lays with a taste of white mushroom and sour cream, a special taste of golden roasted potatoes and porcini mushroom stewed in sour cream. That's How amazing. amazing. I love mushrooms. I, I love cooking mushrooms. I love eating mushrooms. We don't have anything mushroom you know what? I just don't understand. If they are the same sort of company, why don't they? Mushroom obviously just doesn't do well here. Yes, please. But what they all have in common is they contain half a bag of crisps. Oof. They do smell good. <laughs> they smell really good. Yeah, I wonder how mushroomy they'll be. They smell quite mushroomy. Yeah, they do. Know. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Whoa. Oh, mushroom, the mushroom is strong in this one. Okay. Mm. Answer in the comments. Are you someone who eats a crisp at a time or a handful at a time? Don't you think they taste buttery as well? Mm. These are probably some of the best tasting. I think it might just be the sour cream. Yeah, but it does say golden roasted potatoes. Uh, wow. That is so good. Uh -huh. Those crisps that we had in that Japanese candy box, the first one, I'll link it up there. I thought they were the best crisps I've had all time. Really? I think these might be better. Uh, shall we stop? <laughs> I'm amazed at how good, because I would imagine it's hard to get a mushroom flavor really good. Mm -hmm. And they've got it without it tasting artificial. Amazing, what are you giving that or do I even need to ask? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Maybe we should just do a whole video on crisps. Oh, 100%. Um, no. Hey, it's not a video without a drop. <laughs> Here it is, the first one. I what, did so one many. Now? I did so many drops last mm. time. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I would love a beer with that. I just sound like an alcoholic in these videos. <laughs> But I just think there's certain things that go so well with beer mm. and crisps are just one of them. So we have another savory thing here. However, I think we might give these a miss because they are Russian crackers with new flavor with the fried chicken taste. Now, sometimes these are vegetarian. But since we don't but, speak Russian. Yeah, so we, we can know. give these to dad. But let us know if you've ever had this before or anything that we try and let us know your thoughts and feelings on everything in this box. And obviously this is a monthly subscription box, so they can't put everything in the one month. But if there's anything from Russia we need to try, then let yeah, us know. let us know. We'd and love what to are try. the go-to things? I don't think we have anything else savory, but we do have biscuits. Okay. Oh, cookie. They call them cookies. I wonder if they call all of their biscuits cookies, like American. Karovka, cow with the chocolate glaze. Cookies with a soft, creamy taste of malted milk and the addition of condensed milk covered on one side with a generous layer of dark chocolate glaze. 
These look really good. Again, it's a bit like Polish candy, which we tried and we really enjoyed a lot yeah. of it, didn't we? Link up there. We just don't understand the packets at all, which is quite interesting. Yeah. But you don't need to understand the packaging because it the illustration will tell you. It's milk, so it's going to be like a milk biscuit, chocolate on. But that addition of the, what was it? It said um, condensed milk. Condensed milk. And I also feel says like dark chocolate. it's going to make them quite rich. They look quite. Oh. Oh, it's just oh, broken. broken. <laughs> I thought I was it was like. Say, oh, oh whoa. whoa! That's cool. That's look. massive. Right, should we go and have? Yeah, it looks really nice, doesn't it? Oh, that smells, smells good. good. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, very soft mm. biscuit. Is that the um, condensed milk? It's almost like a chewy, like caramelly layer. Or am I making that up? No, I don't know if it, that that's the mixture of the chocolate and the. Maybe. So even though it snaps, it's. It's not like a really hard biscuit. No. Your teeth go right through it, almost crumbles in the mouth. It melts in the mouth. And it's quite like airy in there, it's isn't it? It's a very it? thin layer of chocolate, but it's the perfect amount. Really nice chocolate. Mm. It says it's dark chocolate, but I'm not getting that bitter taste it that I don't taste like dark from dark chocolate. chocolate. Does it? That is really nice. Mm. That's a really good biscuit. Impressive biscuit, Russia. Mm. Very good. I like that. What are you that. giving that? I think I'm going to have to give that a nine. Mm. That's very good. Me too. Right, can we try this? Yeah. <laughs> now this is something I can read in Russian. <laughs> can you? Barney. I'm just guessing. Oh, okay. We actually get these in England. You never guess which flavour that is. This is the chocolate one. I thought so, but it's not. With the banana, banana. yoghurt. How did you guess that? Because it's yellowy. I just took another guess. Banana yoghurt filling. A delicious biscuit in the form of a bear cub with a delicate banana yoghurt filling. Very popular biscuit for children. Yeah, we get these in England, but um, we have one which is a chocolate teddy with a milky creamy mm. centre and one which is a, like a normal sponge teddy with a chocolate centre. Never seen the banana one. We also have strawberry ones, I think. That's Break not a biscuit to me. Yeah, have you got filling in it? I wonder if the biscuit has come from their translation or that actually calls it a biscuit. I don't know. Have you got enough filling in there? That's the best yeah. bit about banana. So let's eat banana. Some. Banana, that's really Barney. Cheers. Cheers. That is good. That flavour. The um lovely sponge. Yeah, but I always do think the bits that's not got the filling in is dry. No, I dry -ish. like it. I like it. But it's like chewy. Mm. Oh, that filling's really nice. It's so good. I have that one. No, if you're one of those people who says, "Oh, I can't eat that because it's for children." You're no. missing out because that is so good. As I've said before, I'm not a big fan when things taste like banana mm. and they're not properly banana. Yeah. But that's actually really good. Maybe that's quite natural. It doesn't really taste fake, does it? No, it's quite natural. What, what are you giving you, that? Yeah, that's yeah. what I was going to say to you. I'll probably give that an, a seven and a half. I'm going to give it an eight. I really enjoyed it. I thought it. I might give it an eight, but um, mm. I just, I'm just looking forward to what's in here. Yeah. Actually, Shall we do this, then yeah. the sweets, and, and then, then the we'll finish on the chocolate? So this is. Any guesses? Yeah, this is um, blueberries covered in chocolate. Close. Zephyr marshmallow sweet stories. Oh, wow. With black currant. I thought it was blueberries, but they're little black currants, aren't they? Covered with chocolate glaze. Elegant individual packaging hides every fragrant marshmallow with black currant berries. So I'm just thinking there's going to be marshmallow in there, chocolate, and blackberries. Oh, wow. It's a little like. What are those things we have? It's like little a tea shell. cakes. It looks like a tea cake, actually. Well, it looks like a shell, and then it kind of is in the form of a tea cake. It's like chocolate on the outside. Should we give it a go? Yeah. I'll have to give it a bite, and then you give okay, a bite. Okay, that's fine. Mmm. Not oh what I was word. Okay, so it's kind of like a tea cake, but there's no biscuit on the bottom. No. It's like a soft marshmallowy thing, but the black mm. currant is mixed in there. It tastes really good, actually. Not what I was expecting at all. It's not a pillowy, chewy marshmallow. It's not a marshmallow fluff. It's Wait almost like a coconutty bite to it. Like yeah. it tastes like the sugary. Oh. But I wonder if you look at the bottom. It's quite dry, isn't it? If you look at the bottom, mm. the chocolate's gone white. Mm. I wonder if because of the heat, mm. it's changed the consistency. Maybe. Let us know down below if you've had that. If what's the consistency meant to be like? I do like the flavour though. Yeah, I'm not big on fruit with chocolate, so I'm probably going to give it a five. It's nice, but... Apart from um, those patch things. Apart patch from those patch things. No, I like dried fruit with, mm. but I just don't like 
fruit in general with chocolate. I, I think they're sweet. nice. I would actually go eight for that. Yeah. So, ooh, that's cool. That's almost like our box. We oh, give you a little a pick magnet. and mix. No way. Yeah. It said it comes with a mini gift. So we got have anything a look. metallic around here? We've got three things here. Okay, so that one that's in your hand is yeah. a Milky Candies milk sugar fondant with a bright taste of condensed milk. This is interesting. And that's the second. Oh, oh. it's like fudge. <laughs> that is looks that so fudge? great. It looks like um, a little loaf of bread. It, that literally looks perfect, doesn't it? Oh, that's so good. Wonder mm. why um, we call it fudge. They call it fondant. That's so good. It's so wow. Creamy, isn't it? Creamy. Isn't that amazing? It's creamy, but it's also like crumbly a little mm. bit. No, but I mean, the flavour's mm. creamy and rich, but the texture is crumbly and delicious. Amazing. That flavour is amazing. 10 out of 10 for me. That's an 11 out of 10 for me. <laughs> I work on my own scale. That, that, that is, is amazing. So I kind of feel like we should have tried that one last. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. Well, I've uh, left a little one? bit that I can have at the end. Okay, this is Caramel Ellen... Ellen Alenka. Oh, has that got the same face on there? Mm. Whitish caramel with a delicate, creamy vanilla taste and aroma. Mm. That's actually really good. Oh, it's, I thought it's that was going to be yeah. hard. That's really good. Russia has some good sweets. Mm. I did not expect that. And this I'm one's called seeing. Chop. Now, this one actually feels hard. Oh, no. Oh. You're probably meant to suck it up, though. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That smells like my shampoo <laughs> with a little bit of chocolate in the middle. I've heard it's minty. Yeah. Okay, let's get to this one. Mm. Candy Choco Chimba, a bright combination of taste of mint and chocolate. Mint caramel covers the filling of a delicate chocolate cream. These are all caramelly. Mm. The first one's an 11. The second one with the little girl on, it's probably an eight. This one's probably a six for me. I'm not that uh, into... What are you up to? Oh, I can't take it out. But... <laughs> <laughs> this is probably a six for me because I'm not that into like mint and chocolate. I'm not into. You're this... not. You love after eights. I like after eights, but what's weird is it's... it tastes like the... it shouldn't be. No, because with an after eight, the chocolate's on the outside and the mint is a fondant in the middle. Oh, where is that? I've never had hard outside, which is the mint and chocolate on the inside. True. So that's and you kind like of strange for me. mints, and they are that way as well. Mm. The mints in the middle. Yeah. I would say the mint is like a five for me. The um, second one we had was about an eight. The chocolate. The chocolate. I love this tiny little bar. They only give you a little sample. Although I need to cleanse the palate. Well, the mints cleanse the palate from that. Yeah, but now that's going to taste chocolatey. Oh, wow, little, it's in little three. three. Ah, this is a famous milk chocolate. Alen. Can you read that? Alenica. Alenka. Alenka. Alonka. The traditional taste of Russian Alionka. milk chocolate made according to the recipe of 1966. That's some old chocolate. Yeah. Let's hope the milk and the uh, cocoa beans are newer. Yeah. <laughs> I should um, read up on some Russian history it's because this than, is obviously someone It's important. better than Hershey's, but it kind of tastes like that generic chocolate you get at Christmas. In a selection if you box. Just get, no, you know, if you get like, from a random make like um, a snowman or something and it's not made by Cadbury's. It just tastes like that. It's like generic chocolate. Yeah, it's got weird. Weird taste of it. That is literally, you've hit the nail on the head there. Actually, it's got a little bit of the Hershey's, Hershey's, um, <laughs> Hershey. Hershey's, um, oh, sickly. Sick in the mouth. Yeah. I would say I love the packaging and the little idea. If you're going to Russia and coming back a as a souvenir, that's a really yeah. good little thing. But taste-wise, bring me back a bag of porcini oh, yeah. crisps instead. What I love is just the difference in the packaging of things. Yeah. Like in America, it's so bright and bold. Um, Japan is so like, it's almost futuristic. Cartoony as well. Whereas this is a bit like the Polish, is a lot more traditional. If anyone ever wants to be my friend for life, then uh, bring me back some of these from Russia, please. And, uh, and don't they come in the big down. bags? <laughs> they, they come in the big bags. Clear <laughs> winner, clear winner. You can see my second hand. <laughs> 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 I thought you were talking about the WTF final, and if you haven't watched oh, that, yeah. you should watch it. See who wins. <laughs> Let's finish off with this some of these. This is the most exciting thing. I didn't know they made mushroom crisps, and I'm so glad they mm. do. I'm going to need a special delivery from Russia. Oh. From Russia with love. I'm going to go to Russia just for this. Yeah. 
that is excellent. If you are ever going to Russia, or anyone you know is going to Russia, ask them to bring a bag of those and try them. And send me a pack. And send us a pack. <laughs> they are delicious. Mm. That was good though, even mm. though there wasn't much to try. It's nice just having a bit of different flavour. A little tasty, yeah. That was really good. And also, after the last ones, not that I regret it at all, but there was so much to eat. There I was, was so a lot. full. Yeah. But this is a nice little taster of Russia. Exactly. So I don't even need to ask. Your favourite is the crisps. My favourite were the crisps, but very closely followed by those biscuits. Those I did biscuits were really, really nice. Did you enjoy that? I enjoyed it. What did you think? I really enjoyed that and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And if you want to see us try food from other countries around the world, we've got a little playlist up there. You can check them all out. Yeah, all of them are in that playlist so you can sit down and binge watch. Yeah, grab your favourite food and just, and just watch along. sit and watch. And don't forget guys, I'll leave a link in the description box down below where you can get this candy box from and where you can get our candy box. But we hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you very soon. Bye guys. See ya.